Главное не унывать. Главное никогда не унывать. Слушайте, это поход лучшая стоит, которая вообще у меня была. Немножко не повезло машинам каршеринг. Четыре. Четыре машины утонуло. Просто Ярослав уже вся в болоте. Димон, дождь, говоришь? Вот дождь, смотри, прошел. Минут где-то 20 он шел. Это вот улица строителей. Наш дом в опасности. Это уже очень страшно. Посмотрите, что произошло. Рухнуло.
there was a real flood in Moscow. After the abnormal heat of plus 37 degrees, a super shower passed. Heavy rainfall was not a surprise. Muscovites were warned about them a week in advance. The utilities were also fully armed. However, flooding could not be avoided. In about one hour, 70% of the monthly precipitation rate fell in Moscow. City rainstorms did not cope. The flood paralyzed the capital. Some metro stations stopped, cars flooded on the roof. People swam along the streets like in the sea. As of Monday evening, the rain has already ended. Housing and communal services liquidate the flood. The tracks are lined with evacuators who remove faulty cars from the road. The morning in Moscow began with warm sunny weather. Around noon, the sky was overcast. The thunder warmed, the sky lit up with lightning. A heavy downpour began, as if from a bucket. The super shower was accompanied by a powerful wind. As a result, the hurricane blew the roof off the buildings. People did not suffer a miracle. Some streets have turned into bodies of water. The townspeople overcame them by swimming. On some routes, the traffic was as difficult as possible. And in some areas it was stopped altogether. Drivers pushed cars floating on the water. In the area of the Gorbushkin Boar shopping center, a taxi car was flooded up to the roof level. The driver was forced to climb onto the roof. Several metro stations on the blue and orange lines were flooded. Trains went without stopping. In addition to the capital, the Moscow region suffered greatly. Due to bad weather, 24,000 people were left without electricity in 11 urban districts.